So I was doing a bunch of low poly work recently with some bricks and some rocks and that kind of stuff. And I remember that I came across this method for doing uh, really quick low poly meshes for stuff like that. It's kind of a hybrid between, you know, a manual, you know, retopo work and using something like Decimation Master in ZBrush. Now Decimation Master, not to badmouth it because I do use it for some stuff, but you, you end up with a triangulated mesh that can be hard to work with. And it doesn't always make the same decisions that you do, you know, to say the least. And so sometimes you spend you're just as much time you know, trying to fix the mesh afterwards than you would have just doing the topo yourself. Um, this method should work in any software that can take vertices and snap them down to the surface of other geometry in the scene. I'm going to be using Modo, but I'm sure there's, there's similar functionality for other modeling apps. So let's take a quick look at it. So for reference, this is the high poly mesh that I was talking about. It's got some rocks, it's got some brick shape type things, and you can see it's not that complicated. There's some sheared off corners and edges and things, and there's some pock marks on the surfaces, but nothing all that complicated. And this stuff can actually be surprisingly tedious when it comes time to retopo. And so uh, artists will tend to throw it through uh, Decimation Master, which you know, I explained the cons of that back in the intro. So we're going to take a look at a method that uh, offers up a cleaner solution, and I think is a better bet. So for demonstration purposes, let's take uh, this one uh, this one slab that was in the high poly mesh. Uh, you can see that the surfaces you know, have a lot of variation to them. Uh, this one corner is kind of sheared off. So this is a good candidate for demonstration. So uh, real quick, what I do is I create a bounding box for that, uh, that mesh, and then I throw in some tessellation on it. Uh, uh, these edge loops are just a hotkey that I'm firing off that I built that just you know inserts edge loops, so nothing fancy. I select all the polygons, convert that to a vertex selection. Now the whole thing here is that I want to just snap those vertices to the high poly mesh, just have them you know uh, like shrink wrap down basically. And the way I do that in Modo uh, is with a background constraint. So if I turn on the scale tool. Now, you don't actually have to scale anything, but you know, activating a tool you know, helps it work in real time. So I go to my mesh constraints and turn on the background constraint if it's not already on. Now you can see nothing is happening, but if I turn my geometry constraint to point, uh, you can see that it finds the closest point on the high poly and snaps the vertex to it. So uh, then I can drop the scale tool. Now if I isolate that, you can see that I've you know, I've got a viable low poly here for that high poly mesh. And uh, really that's the crux of the uh, trick. Uh, what I like about this now is that if I decide that some of these edge loops are maybe not contributing as much as they could be, you know, I can punt those edge loops. Since the whole mesh is, uh, well, let me get that back. Since the whole mesh is quads, you know, I can work with it a lot easier. And even if I'm not 100% happy, like if I feel that this sharp corner should be beveled or whatever, that's fine. But this gives me a really fast way to get into a low poly situation so I can start tweaking. So anyway, uh, give that a shot, see if you like it, and I hope it helps you out.